Hello, my name is Daniel P. Lopez. I'm the author of eight published books, and this is my new book called Dark Stranger. This is the, the second chapter of the series called The Dark Chronicles, and it, this is the, the one that starts off where the last one left off, Dark Stages. So this is the, the, the aftermath of what came before with Dark Stages. Now this is the second one called Dark Stranger. The reason I published these chronicles was because I wanted people to to just know me, get to know me better, who I was and how I lived my life and how how I became later on. And this second chronicle discusses and a lot about how I I how I truly am and how I live within my mind even to this day. The re well, the, I call this book Dark Stranger was is because of. I met a man in 1997, 20 years ago, at the gym, and basically he is the one that I called the dark stranger. Because I felt, or I, I felt at that time and even to this day, that he was someone who impacted my life, changed my life in many different ways. At that time, I wanted a relationship with this man. That in the story, I named him Damien. Um, though he's a real he he's a real person. I changed people's names, obviously, and the name I gave him was the name Damien. And basically, I he, I want at that time I wanted a relationship with him. I was looking for a friend, a companion, and basically all he was looking for was was sex. And though he did drugs. At that time, I was 20 years old, and he was 31. So in a way, I was not only looking for a friend and a companion, but I was also looking for... I was a lonely, naive 20-year-old who was looking for a friend, you know, a companion, a love interest. And he fed my mind with a lot of madness of, you know, saying that he had connections, mafia connections to, you know, ruin people, destroy people, do... He said... He, he fed my mind with thoughts of, of paranoia and fear before those things started happening in, in my mind and within my life. So yes, I feel that not just because of what he said, but I felt that yes, he did reveal that he had a, a power that I felt and feel that he, he basically did to just change my life. Well, basically, like I said, I, I call him the Dark Stranger, but actually there's there's two of them. Because he he was with living with a man who was even older than him, who who I feel was the one who had this true power, connections. And they were once in a relationship, it explains it in, in the book, and I feel that they were the ones that basically did this to me. What everything that I go through in the book and even to this day I feel is a result of what what they they basically did to me. The 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 second man that is mentioned in the book is basically um Damien's I call him almost like Damien's shadow because even though Damien is the dark stranger he has a shadow and that shadow is Hector and basically it was I feel that it was Hector who was the one that was basically supporting Damien that was the one that used to, um, yeah, that was supporting him in many different ways. And I feel and felt that he was the one who had this true power. And through Damien and him and through things that I mentioned within the book and story is a result of why I feel my life was changed by them and these connections that I felt they had. The way that this, this chapter of my life plays out, it starts off basically as, I wouldn't say a love story because honestly, <laughs> There is not love in this story within the, the two main characters, not be, aside from myself. Even though that was what I wanted and was seeking for, it, it actually escalates into something far worse than that. And it just takes a total twist of, of, of how my life just changed within my mind, but it, was, it reflected the way I lived my life, not just in this story, but even years later and even to this day. Well, basically, there's four parts to this book, and um, the first part is called in the, Meet in the Dark, and it, it just explains the relationship that I have with Damien, and how we, how we evolved, and how I felt that 
what the the reason why they did these things to me is is in that first part, and then the second part is called in the dark, which basically is me living in the paranoia, in the fear, in the anger, in the hatred, and all the things that I went through, including just many. It, I just went down a very dark path, and it. There's a lot of things in this story, in this chapter of my life that many people or most people that don't even know or realize that I lived that way or did those things or ended up that way and it's it's this story is basically a very sad tragedy of my life and how I became and and how how it still affects me even to this day aside from being paranoid you know thinking people were out there these the people that I felt they hired to hide to watch me follow me you know put things into my food into my body to drug me to basically make my mind change my mind into a a person that I didn't want to be I I you know it was hard for me to maintain jobs I lost my jobs it was hard for me to be around people I um you know I I got in tro I ended up in in a mental hospital, you know, I ended up even worse places than that that I describe in the book. And they're just, even though I, I overcame these things, it was, it was a very rough time for me at that time. And even to this day, it still affects me. You, the reason I published this book, the second chapter of my life, it wasn't because or it's not because I'm looking for anyone to f have empathy over me or my life or what I've gone through or to even to feel sorry for me. The reason I published this story is because I want people to know who I truly am inside, within my mind, how I really am. And in and, and, and this chapter, it explains, or I explain, how and why I am the way I am today. And it is a result because of the man, of the man that I named, Dark Stranger, and his shadow, which I their names in the book are Damien and Hector. Well, honestly, um, I originally had it planned when I published when I was going to publish a story to um, to keep their real names. And um, but I chose to change not just their names but everybody's names in the story in my chapters of my life, because especially theirs, and not just not because to protect them, but to protect protect myself because based because um, there are a lot of strong allegations in this book on my behalf you know things that I felt that they did things that I wanted to do and I just feel that even though I didn't um, go down a path of revenge or down a dark path well even though this story t takes place 20 years ago um, and Hector ha at that time had full blown AIDS I, I really don't know if he's alive to this day and Damien, I'm sure he is alive. And if they were out there and watching this or watching me, for them, this book basically is published to the public, so anyone could read it. And if they did read it, then I feel that yeah, they should know what I feel they did to me. And um, regardless of yes, this is my story, my version. But you, but you have to understand that I wrote this 20 years ago, and at that time I was writing it as it was happening. And at that time, you know, I was, I had very strong feelings for him in the beginning. And so, yes, I remembered many different, many things, details and events and words and actions and things he said, things I said. So it's very detailed and true to how it was, not just for me, but how it truly was. So, yes. And if they read this, then I feel that they should know how I, how I am, how I felt and the and why I feel they did these things to me so yeah well basically I if anyone reads this book which I know people will read it it would I know people will look at me especially the people who know me in real life I know they would um look at me in a different way if if they don't really know these things but if they don't yes they would look at me in a very different light and but I'm I'm willing to to make that 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 I guess sacrifice of how pe I feel people will look at me, because it, I in many ways I don't 
I don't care how people look at me, even if it's in a negative way, because I know who I truly am. I know why I became who I became. And basically, I just want people to know and understand how I am and how I truly live in my mind. Many things that, even though I feel that Damien and even Hector revealed things to me that I feel were were kind of um, pieces of the puzzle that I felt they created. I, I learned on my own many things that I wish I would have known back then before I met them, even before the dark entered my life, because I know if I knew those things or was even warned or even given a second chance, that I wouldn't have ended up going through everything that I went through in this, in this chapter of my life and even, even after that. I, even, even though to this day I'm living a better life compared to back then, the early dark years, I'm living a much better life. But the truth is, this is, and I'm in a better place right now in my life, but the truth is that this is not the life, not only that I didn't want for myself, but the, I believe, truly believe that this is not the life that I was destined to end up in. And, 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 it, you know, but... At the same time, I am a much stronger person. Like, I'm a much stronger person mentally. And um, even though I still think many of the things that I felt back then, I still think of to this day. But the truth is, yes, I am a much stronger person. You know, I, I've learned to cope with these thoughts, whether they're true or not. I've learned to fight it. You know, the, 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 the negativity, the, the demons that surround me. I, I've learned to even ignore them, fight it, you know. But the truth is, yeah, I've, uh, these past 20 years, it's, it's been a long journey. You know, there's been a lot of rough times, but like the saying goes, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I am a much stronger person now, despite that I still suffer through these thoughts and life. My books are all available online. You can buy them as ebooks and as paperback on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, my website www.danielplopez.com. Well, this this story Dark Stranger is is basically um my early 20s, the first from 20 to 23, which the and I these actually these years are, were the worst years of my life to this day. And it ends when I'm 23 after going through many tragedies, many things that it's hard to believe that I survived them, but I did. And it, it ends, even it doesn't end on a positive note or a positive um, outcome. It actually just, it, it ends and then the next chapter of my life begins, which will be Chronicle 3. And even though I'm not ready to discuss the, the title of that chronicle, or even much of that chronicle, Chronicle 3, it's also a rough, a rough time in my life. And it was a result of, of this first chapter, the second one. Because everything that happened in this book was and is a result of how I ended up, the path that I ended up. And even that one will be very hard on me and and people who know me you know my friends and my family and it's just it's it's and the dark is still there and like i said they're the dark chronicles so it's there's they're still lingering around me in my head and it's not a story that is is a happy one either because this is definitely the first chron the second chronicle is not a a happy tale. It's it's a very sad tragedy of my life, and even the third one is is that way too. But like I said, I'm a person that survived these things, and even though I'm a much better person now, I'm still living with this darkness. <laughs>